In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a gradient background right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into the video. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you have a brand new sequence created, we first want to begin by going down to this new item button. That is in the bottom left of Premiere Pro. You select that, go to black video. Now we can press OK on this tab here and we're going to drag that black video onto video layer one. So select black video, drag that to video layer one, select the black video, and then we're gonna go into effects. So we'll go to the effects tab on the left of Premiere, and we're going to search for ramp. The ramp plugin should be underneath the generate folder, and once you've found that, you just want to drag that onto your black video. And inside of ramp, you've got all of these different settings. We've got start of ramp, start color, end of ramp, end color, ramp shape, ramp scatter, and blend with original. Let me talk you through all of those settings to begin with. So start of ramp is the start position of the ramp. So as you can see, clicking on start of ramp loads up these two circles. So if I move this circle, that is the start of ramp, you can see these numbers over here changing. And that's because I'm moving the position of the start of ramp. So if I pull this over to the very left and move down to end of ramp, if I move this circle to the very right, you can see our gradient is now running from the left to the right. So that's fairly simple. Next up, you can see we've got black on the left and white on the right, and that correlates with the start color and end color. The start color is black, which is the left, and the end color is white, that's on the right. So in order to change these colors, all we have to do is select one of these colored boxes, select a color of your choice, do that for both colors, and as you can see, you've now got yourself a colored gradient background. Of course, though, if we move down to ramp shape, we have our different shapes. So we've got a linear ramp, which is this ramp here. And then we've got a radial ramp. And that's going to be a spot rather than a transition into one color. So if I pull the start color to the very center, you can see we've got this spot of red in the center. And if I pull the end color closer to the first circle, then that red is going to disappear. If I pull this all the way out though, you can see that's going to increase and there's going to be more of a gradual transition from red to green. Now moving on, we've got blend with original and blend with the original as the title implies is basically just going to blend the ramp effect with the original black video. So if we increase this all the way up to 100, the ramp disappears. Pull it down to zero, the black disappears. And if we pull that to any number in between, then you'll notice that the gradient disappears or appears. So I'm gonna keep that to zero for now because I want to see the gradient background. Now, that looks really awesome. That is how you would create a gradient background with two colors. But what if you wanted to create this with four colors? Well, that's where we'd use a different plugin and we'd use the four color gradient plugin right inside of Premiere. So if we go into effects, search for four color, it should be one of the first that pops up. There you go, I put four col and four color gradient appears. So before we drop the four color gradient onto our video, we're just going to delete the ramp that we just created. So we'll delete that. We'll drop four color gradient onto our black video. And as you can see, we've got four different colors. Now this works very similar to ramp in the sense that you've got your different points and your different colors coordinate to a different point. So point one is up here. We can move this around wherever we like and we can parent that to a color. So at the moment, point one is yellow. Point two is in the top right. We can move that to wherever we like. Point three is the blue that's in the bottom right. And point four is pink that's in the bottom left. So of course you can move these wherever you want to. Just create an effect that works for you. Now, if you wanted to create a animation with all of these different colors inside of Premiere, then all you have to do is pull your cursor to the very beginning and you want to create a brand new keyframe on all of the different points. So we go to point one and press the stopwatch icon. We go to point two, press the stopwatch, point three, stopwatch, and point four, stopwatch. Now we'll go four seconds to the right. So we'll go just to the very end of the clip and we'll select on positions and colors, point one, and we'll move point one down to the bottom. Now we'll move down to point two and we'll pull that over to the left. Point three can go up to the right and then point four can go to the right. So they've all changed positions. Now, if we play this back, you'll notice we've got this really awesome four color gradient animation happening right before us. So that looks really awesome. 
Of course though, you can animate the position of these different points, but you can also animate the color of these points. So let's go to point one, that is the yellow points. We'll create a stopwatch on color. We'll go all the way to the very end and we'll change the color from yellow to red. We'll press OK on that. And gradually between those two keyframes, the color is going to change from yellow to red. So not only is the position of the point changing, the color of that point is also now changing. So we start off yellow, as it's moving across it becomes orange and then turns into red. So as you can see, this is a really awesome way to create this really awesome, playful gradient background animation. So there you go. If you wanted to create a basic gradient background, just do this without the animation. But if you wanted to make something a bit more fun and a bit more vibrant, then add some keyframes, add some animation, and you're going to get yourself this really awesome multicolored gradient background. So there you go. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please do consider subscribing. And if you are subscribed, then I will see you on the next video. See you there.